Okay, this is a video tutorial on how to do exercise five, modifying a page layout. I've already pre-designed something and what I'm asking you to do is make modifications. So what you're going to wanna to do is download these attached files. You're going to copy and paste the exercise five resume style sheet and the exercise five resume.html into your user folder. Then you're going to copy and paste the two images, um, and they're called blue hyphen background PNG and John Smith PNG into your image folder. You're going to open up the exercise five resume.html file in Dreamweaver. Then you're going to attach the style sheet that I've given you to this document. And then you're going to use the CSS designer Okay, as we've demonstrated in, in class, you're going to modify, add, and apply the following attributes to the CSS style sheet using the CSS designer. All right, so I've already downloaded this file. So if I go to my Art116 folder, if I navigate through it, here is the HTML file in my named folder. If I go to my image, folder. I should find those two images. Here's John Smith and the other one was called blue background. So you should have these two images and also you should have the style sheet which is called exercise five resume. All right now I'm going to go ahead and open up this document in Dreamweaver. Okay, so I've got the exercise five resume file open and I'm going to attach the style sheet. So I'm going to go window CSS designer. Okay, I'm going to click on source here and I'm going to look for that style sheet. So I'm going to attach existing. I'm going to browse to it. And my CSS folder and it's right here. Okay, I'm going to say okay. And as you can see that I've already created a layout here. Don't worry at this point how I built it because really what I want you to do is modify what I've already done. So let's go back to the directions. So back at the directions, I'm asking you to modify the body tag and give it this color. And I'm also asking you to change the font family in the body tag, okay, which is something that you can do to have an overall font. So let me go ahead and do that. The body tag, again, I'm asking you to change the body color. So I am going to the body and I'm going to change this number to something else. Okay, so the one that is in the canvas criteria. Now I'm asking you to change the font family to Gil Sands. So I'm gonna to go to the text properties and I'm gonna change it for, from Verdana to Gil Sands. You should have seen that change take place. Next, I'm going to modify the header tag by adding a background image. So I'm gonna to go to the header and I am going to click on background. I am going to add an image, so I'm clicking right here, background image, URL, clicking on this folder icon, and I'm going to look for that blue hyphen background PNG, clicking, going to navigate to my image folder, which it looks like I'm already in, and I'm going to select this image and open it, okay? So I can see some of those changes take place. Okay. So I've already done number one here with the body tag. I've already modified the header by adding the image. Next, I'm going to modify each of the aside, header, and section tags by adding a border radius on all sides of 20. So let me go ahead and do that. The aside is first. So I'm selecting the aside right here, not these ones, but this aside container. 
So I am going to the border properties and I know radius is right here. So I am going to add 20 all around. So I'm going to click in the middle. So everything is, has that border radius. Now I'm asking you to do the header. So I'm going to do the same thing. 20 and I'm click inside. So all sides have that radius. And now I'm asking you to do the section. Section is right here. Again, 20. Clicking on the inside here. And I've done that. Let me go ahead and preview in the browser. So I'm going to preview in Safari. It's asking me to save. Save again. And it's coming along. I can see all the rounded corners. I can see the background image. Okay, I'm back in Dreamweaver. I'm going to take a look at the criteria again for the exercise. I just did number three, adding those radiuses. Now part two, I'm asking you to add a new class selector. So in exercise five CSS file, create a new class selector and name it dot highlight. So I want you to name it this right here. Okay, and I want you to give it these attributes, text color, font family, font size, and italic. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a new selector and I'll just come up here and add one. By the way, it will add a new selector below the one you had selected. So I had this selected, so it added it here. And I don't want what's given to me here, but I want to do dot highlight. Okay, so I added the new one. Now in Canvas, it says add text color. So I'm going to go to the text properties. In color area, I'm going to do pound two eight 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 c d okay it's a blue color i'm going to go ahead and hit the return key i'm asking you to change the font family to impact font family impact make a font size of 15 pixels in 15 pixels and make the font style italic. Okay. Now back into the criteria here, apply this highlight class in the resume experience area of the document everywhere you see the words lorem ipsum. Okay. So back here, so in the experience area, so this area right here, whoops, let me move this out of the way a second, this out of the way. So in the experience, not the education, but the experience area here, everywhere I see the words lorem ipsum. Okay, now I need to find lorem ipsum in the experience area. I've already got the first one selected here. So in the property palette in the class area, I'm going to select highlight. Here's lorem ipsum again. In the class area, select highlight. Here's Lorem Ipsum again. In the class area, select Highlight. And there's one more right here. And I'm going to select Highlight. All right, after you've done that, you can go ahead and go back to Canvas, or I'm gonna go back to Canvas. And the next thing I'm asking you to do is add two new divs. Insert two new div tags to the exercise five resume file. Insert the first div tag in the aside right above the context section and right below this gray text. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so the directions say in the contact area, keep in mind if you select something in design view, Dreamweaver will highlight where you are in code. So what I'm asking you to do is find the gray text that is in code. And here it is. This is just HTML comments. 
okay, I've added, and I'm asking you to, to insert the div in the aside right above the context section and right below the gray text. Okay, so I'm right here. I'm gonna hit the return key just to give myself some space. And then I'm going to insert a div, insert div. I'm asking you to call it John Pick and say okay. Then I'm asking you to delete the placeholder text that Dreamweaver gives you in that div. So I'm going to delete it right here. I'm actually going to de delete it in code view because I want my cursor to remain right here. And then in code view, place your cursor between the opening and closing tags of that div and insert the image John Smith PNG. So my cursor is right here and I'm going to go insert image. I'm going to look for that John Smith PNG and it is right here and I'm going to open it. Okay, so there it is. Okay, the next thing I'm asking you to do is add a new selector called dot John pick. Again, this is a class and I also want the image tag. Okay, and then I want you to give it a border radius of 20 pixels on all sides. Okay. Okay, my cursor's right here in that image or I could click it right here. I'm going to add that new selector. Now it picked up a side. I really don't need a side, so I'm going to get rid of that extra that extra bit there. Need the period, okay? I'm going to go into the border radius, so under border, and I'm asking you to do a border radius of 20 pixels on all sides. So I'm clicking here, going to add the value 20, and I'm going to click inside. Again, you're not going to see it in design view, but if I preview in the web and save and save, I can see now the photo has rounded corners as well. Okay, back at Canvas, the next thing I'm asking you to do is insert a second div above the header and right below the gray text and code. Again, this gray text, give this div a name of nav delete the placeholder text Dreamweaver gives you in the div class equals nav div. In code view, place your cursor in between the opening and closing tag and copy and paste this code into that div. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back, okay? And it said above the header, scroll up, here it is. Okay, above the header, and I'm asking you to, to do it right below. So my cursor is right here. I'm going to hit the return key just to give myself some space. And I'm asking you to go insert div, and I want you to call it nav and say OK. Now I'm asking you to get rid of the placeholder text, and I'm going to do that in code view. So I'm click on it, hit my delete key. Now I'm going to hit my return key a bunch of times. Now I'm asking you to paste this code. So basically this is an unordered list and I am going to select it and I'm going to go edit, copy, in code view right here I'm going to go edit, paste. Okay, so it added an unstylized unordered list. Last one I'm asking you to do is copy and paste these styles in the style sheet. So I'm going to copy them all. Again, this is going to be code that's going to stylize that, that code. So I'm going to copy it all. Make sure that you get all the brackets and I'm going to go edit, copy, going to flip back. I need to be in my CSS file and I am going to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, right below this bracket, I'm going to hit the return key to give myself some space 
and then I'm going to go edit paste. When I click in design view, I can see now that I have a navigation bar added. I'm going to go ahead and preview on the web again. I'll close the browser down a little bit and you can see that I have giving you the code for a navigation bar. Okay. And that is exercise five.